so welcome back to my youtube channel so guys from the intro you guys can tell that today it's going to be all about a fashion over try and haul the last time i did a fashion over video you guys loved it and there was great response and great feedback and i thought why not do another one now this video is sponsored fashion over did reach out to me and they did send me a few pieces and um yeah i'm gonna talk you guys through the pieces um see ya. i've got the pieces that they've sent to me and um i loved them all with fashion over in general it's either a hit or a miss i don't think there's any in between it's either it looks amazing or it looks like trash and um yeah now don't get me wrong i'm a fashion over girl ever since i discovered fashion over i've literally been obsessed with them i've been shopping there literally every week i'm buying something it's insane and their delivery comes very fast to the uk so waiting time is never an issue for me so in my last fashion ever video i didn't actually speak to you guys about the product even though in the description box i did give you guys you know um, some advice when shopping on fashion over i'm aware that not everyone actually looks in the description box so i thought this time with the pieces that i've received from fashion over I'm gonna do a try and haul and I'm going to talk you guys through the products as I try them on. So the first item that I tried on was this green dress. I love this color. This color just reminds me of autumn. I love deep colors. I got in a size medium. I love the way that it's super, super, super snug. It was shorter than I thought it would have been. Um, maybe that's because I'm tall, I'm five foot seven and that's 1.7 meters so um yeah i didn't expect it to be that short it does like ride up a little bit when i walk but apart from that the dress is a really really nice dress i love the rib texture on it like i said it's got amazing stretch so it hugs on your figures beautiful it, oh, figures wow it hugs onto your figure beautifully it gives you that really really sexy curvy shape and i love this dress for that but this dress in a medium and um, thank god i didn't get it in a small if i got it in a small that it would literally be right beneath my the cuff of my bum cheeks <laughs> literally um so i'm happy that i got it in a medium a large would have been way too big and um yeah this dress is definitely one that is true to size up next is this stripey jumper dress oh guys i am all about the knitted jumpers this winter and i absolutely absolutely love this dress um it's a long sleeve one and this one is actually very very long like it goes up to my ankles so it's perfect to match with a pair of heels um this dress is definitely one of those dresses i'll wear out if i want to be cute but i don't want to overdress i mean i'm sure there's a lot of times where you get invited out and the dress code is not too much but not under just at the same time and you don't know what to wear and you still want to look cute and classy whilst being sexy i would definitely definitely recommend this dress i would definitely pair those with just a cute pair of sandal black heels and you know you're pretty good to go and this dress i got in a size medium now something that i've um realized with fashion over is that some of their pieces have their labels on there and then some of their pieces don't so this says codigo yeah i mean this says codigo on it and it doesn't say fashion over which is very weird because i've got some of their items and um, the label says fashion over on it this one doesn't not too sure why but this is something that i've um, observed now since like i said i've been ordering from them for a minute now and um i've definitely definitely observed this up next is this bodysuit this is an all black bodysuit it's a v-neck plunge and then um, the plunge is both at the front and at the back and usually you get plunges that are v-neck at the front and round neck at the back but um like that round i don't know what that's called is it round back i don't know but yeah and um, again it's a different label this says a a Kalin los angeles so i'm assuming that they just buy wholesale from different companies and then resell them i'm not too sure but yes this doesn't have the fashion over um label on it i am wearing a large in this one please do follow their size guide i mean it's pretty accurate um the reason as to why i'm a medium in dresses and a large in this is because i simply just followed their um their sizing chart guide thing and it said to me that i would be a large in this specific item so 
I'm assuming that they they really do take their time and adjust the size guard for each item which is very useful again this one has that ribbed texture and it's long sleeves and on the shoulders there's a bit of ruffle I'll just wear this with a pair of jeans a pair of jeans girl I'll just wear this with jeans and some heels with a cute little bag um, now with this bodysuit I found that it gave me this it gave me a crazy camel toe like it gave me an insane camel toe i mean that v was a deep v the thing is that it wasn't oh, this is so disgusting like the thing is that it wasn't up in there the thing the camel toe wasn't up in there but it was a semi camel toe where you start to see the v forming and it's like um that's okay because i wouldn't wear this on its own so i don't think anyone would see it i'm having to pull down the sides so that the v shape disappears and I don't know, it was a little bit awkward. I was just thinking, oh, I hope when I'm wearing jeans, it wouldn't ride up and show. <sighs> I really vouched for Fashion Nova's jeans, right? So in the last video, I tried them on. They cuffed onto my butt cheeks like, oh, it was so yummy. It was delectable. It just gave me that really nice cuff and it lifted me and it was, it was shabapping. With these jeggings, so these are not even jeans, like these are jeggings and this one, it has the Fashion Nova um, label on it and these are size seven, like these are size seven jeans. In my last video, when I tried on their jeans that I purchased, I was and still a size seven in american jeans i'm so in denial right now like i was big mad when this was not fitting so it was such a struggle getting these jeans on and it's because the stretch in these jeans i mean they are cute i love 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 the like you know the this little thing that's going on on the kneecaps or whatever you know i like it i like the detailing but it was a struggle to get on it was so hard it was a big big struggle like i had to take the wig off because i started to sweat and i was like oh my god no but i literally got it on by fire by force like this i was not i was not accepting the fact that i was a size nine in like these jeggings jeans or whatever so i forced them up and you know when like you can't bend down because if you bend down your crack is out yeah that's literally how i felt in the in those jeans but i wore it with the bodysuit <laughs> i wore it with the bodysuit and it wasn't actually that bad um i mean if i wore it with a normal top if i if i had to sit down for any reason you would definitely see my crack but i mean the bodysuit because it clips at the bottom oh you wouldn't i could bet i could go down as low as i can and no one would see anything but yeah um the stretch I mean it has the stretch around the waist don't get like I feel like there's a thick band of elastic going around the waist but the actual jeans the actual jeans I did I don't believe there's that much stretch in comparison to the jeans I'm gonna show you guys next okay so with this jean the pockets at the front is their fake pockets and um, it's just for image really and the back there's the back pockets here and you've got access to them also in the video you guys may not have been able to see but um these were a little bit short for me like i said i'm five foot seven so i'm quite tall and um yeah these were a little bit short for me they were like right at the ankle and that's not cute i mean next now these are my type of jeans i love me some high-waisted jeans just because i feel like it keeps you so tucked in and it lifts that booty or whatever i'm a big fan of top shops johnny jeans so when obviously i came across fashion over and i saw that they did super high skinny jeans instantly drawn to them and they're way cheaper than top shop now um don't get me wrong they're a lot thinner so um, these, they're not, as, they don't really feel like jeans. They're super, super thin. But um, I like that just because I feel like it's, 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 it's all, it's, it's showing those curves. It's got gold zips. I mean, I think I would have preferred silver zips on this one. Um, yeah, just because the button is silver. It's got, I don't know if you guys can see properly, but the button is silver and the zip's gold. I don't know if that was, um, if that was an error or... It was meant to be like that but really i would have preferred silver zip this one has got the tag at the back 
and um it hasn't got the size on it like the the olive jeans i just showed you guys but this one is a size seven as well and um it fits like a glove i mean this one was amazing like it it just it just gave me it gave me everything that i look for when looking for jeans and i just want comfort and th that's another reason as to why i love the material and the texture like these jeans are super soft and they're thin and i love them thin because i feel as though it doesn't irritate my skin i hate sometimes i hate the way jeans feel like they just make me feel like i just hate feeling things rub onto my skin i just like 100 percent maximum comfort and these jeans give me exactly that there are no pockets at the front again this definitely reminds me of johnny jeans from Topshop and um, this is how they look no pockets at the front but at the back there are the two back pockets and as you guys can probably tell these are super high waisted jeans again guys I will try to have the link in the bio for you guys and uh, my discount code will also be there for you as well also guys with these jeans um, I don't know I can just tell it's I know it's a it's a, um, a material thing these jeans fit me perfectly in terms of length as well um they were perfect they weren't too long they weren't too short it just it it, it sat exactly where i needed to and I, that's why i love that's why i really appreciate these jeans as well and the color i love the, i've got i've got quite a few dark pairs of jeans sometimes it's really nice to just have like a lighter blue um just for option you know dark jeans don't always look good with everything next we've got this turtleneck jumper it's not actually a turtleneck i guess it's a semi turtleneck whatever you want to call that <laughs> i don't even know what to call this but it's got this cute little i don't know this cut it's got like a cute little cut around the neck and um also on the sleeves and also at the bottom of the jumper this feels amazing this is what i mean by maximum comfort it feels like cashmere it feels like one of those expensive jumpers from marks and spencers that have amazing like egyptian cotton wool or, or something like that um i love how it feels very comfortable when you wear it and as you guys can see i have really big full breasts so when i wear things sometimes the sizing and everything is perfect but i need to consider my breasts and that means I would have to go a size up in, so for example, if I'm a 10 in a top, I would have to consider a 12 just for my breast. It gets super annoying, but I think it's one that I had to do with this jumper because this jumper is a cute jumper and I love it and everything, but I feel like it rolls. I feel like the top rolls at the front a little bit just because of my breast. Um, this one has got the Fashion Nova label on it, but it hasn't got the size, but I'm sure this is a size medium because i got a medium in um, all the jetters and tops apart from the bodysuit which i got a large in and guys last but not least this mustard jumper that i absolutely love is it's such an annoying thing though just because again like with my breasts it means that sometimes wearing tops that wrap oh child if you've got big breasts sometimes it's best to stay away from those tops but i'm not i'm not about to like you know i'm not gonna compromise because of these like like i want to wear this top and i'm gonna wear this top and these breasts these breasts are not gonna stop me so i literally just wore it with those light blue jeans and it looked okay but i would actually wear this with like a black I'll probably wear this with black jeans or a dark jean colour as opposed to that light blue. Um, it looks it looks alright, but it's not what I would wear this with. I'll definitely wear this with like a darker coloured jean. Um, I love the way it wraps at the front and um, the the tie bit comes back to the back. I do love that. This one does not say fashion over on it. It says Fave Lux, Fave Lux fashion and. Um, the size on it medium and then under that it says made in china so um yeah i'm definitely assuming that fashion over they buy wholesale from um fashion company fashion retail stores and um resell it on their website um i'm not too sure again why some of their items have the labels on it and why some don't but that sounds like a personal problem and that has nothing to do with me because i'm reaping those benefits honey i mean this is like 
I can't remember how much this is, but I think this is like $20, like 20 or 22. It's something in the 20 range, and that's so cheap, like so cheap. I had a few people um ask me what do I think about the fact that some of their clothing don't have their label on it, and you know, my thoughts on that. To me, that's again, like I said, a personal problem that has nothing to do with me. Um, I'm happy with what I'm getting. If it doesn't say Fashion Nova on it, I don't really care. I, I'm, I know I'm buying it from Fashion Nova. When it comes, it comes in Fashion Nova packaging. I've got a receipt. I've got a receipt with Fashion Nova's name on it. I mean, it's a reliable source. I, that it doesn't bother me that much. But to each their own. If you don't feel comfortable with receiving clothes that don't have fashion that don't have their label on it then i wouldn't advise shopping at fashion over like if that's going to be a big problem for you then maybe you shouldn't shop there to just save the hassle on both ends especially your time but if you're like me you don't care you're getting a bargain and most likely get free shipping when you spend over a certain amount or you can just use my discount code and get 20 percent off anyway then fashion over is for you sis <laughs> so yeah guys that's it from me for fashion over but like i said to you like with fashion over it's either a hit or a miss the only thing for me that was a miss and it wasn't really a miss but i just hated the fact that in i was i was a size seven in two jeans and one basically almost didn't fit and one fit with no struggle whatsoever that's really 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 annoying and it's really confusing as well just because i wasn't expecting that and i actually did want to wear those olive jeans out the minute they arrived but the struggle was too much and i was just like damn but um yeah apart from that i actually you guys already know like i love me some fashion over um that striped jumper though like that's my jumper i love that jumper dress sorry i love that jumper dress so much um i can't oh i'm it's it's so it's, it just fits me so cute i'm gonna try to link it in the description box hopefully they still have it in the stores like i said it hasn't been that long but fashion over their website has so many different things on there that like I don't know they like uh, it's their website just they just have so many products like it's so hard to just pick one thing because like there's about i don't know maybe 60 pages of just jeans or 60 pages of just dresses or whatever so it might be a little bit hard finding something on their website just by just by like literally searching through the dresses but what i am going to do if i can't find the link um i do have the names of the items so yeah um if for any reason i can't find the link i am just going to write the name of the um the pieces for you guys and hopefully you can just copy and paste that and search it into their search bar on the website and hopefully if they've still got it in stock or if they even just got it in general you can just purchase it thank you guys for tuning in guys my hand is still in the car so um bear with me with the videos like i'm really really trying um i want to get these festive looks out for you guys though like i really really do want to get these christmas looks coming and these dinner dates look coming for christmas the christmas party looks i really want to have all of that on my channel for you guys christmas is around the corner and you guys may be coming here for some inspo or just a tutorial to know how to do these looks so um yeah make sure if you're not subscribed make sure that you are subscribed give this video a big thumbs up for me and comment down below what you enjoyed the most and what was your favorite outfit tell me which one you guys liked the most and um yeah also let me know if you want me to do more hauls it doesn't necessarily need to be from fashion over it can be anywhere just let me know where you want me to um where you want me to shop and i'll shop from there for you guys or if you guys just want like a makeup haul anything just let me know what you guys want and i will definitely be sure to have that up for you guys have a lovely week guys and i will see you loves in the next video bye Mwah.